All right, we're back to do some breakdown videos. I'm going to do uh, something a little different today. I'm going to do a little breakdown video of me and my teammate Luke Howard doing some positional sparring over the position K guard. K guard's new to both me and Luke. Uh, we're just both kind of starting to experiment with it and play around with it. So this is like our first time kind of going live after drilling a couple techniques. Most of it revolving around the K-Guard entry to X-Guard, and then we were playing with a backside 50-50 heel hook and a outside Ashi heel hook. So both of us have some experience with leg locks. We both kind of just like dabbled over the years, but we're trying to di dig a bit deeper and play within the positions that it offers. Um, so again, like anytime black belts kind of go into a position where they're exploring new positions, we kind of start to play first with the K-Guard. So like this is basically more or less the K-Guard position, right? I would ideally like Luke a little bit more on top of me, but this is fine just for the sake of the video. And again, like we're looking at two two basic things that we can do here. Either I'm going to look to throw this top leg over behind Luke's leg so I can start attacking his, his left leg here. Or I'm going to look to kind of pull Luke more on top of me so I can move into the X guard and uh, look for some leg lock transitions from there. But again, because it's positional sparring, we're not like necessarily giving each other the position. We want to see what else can kind of open up. So yeah, Luke doing a great job changing level, circling here. I've lost the position, so I just kind of stopped the action. Uh, he was definitely in good position to pass. So again, like... The important thing is like keeping it in the position you want to work on, right? Like we both want to grow in the position of K guard. So it's not worth getting like too hyper competitive in uh, the other guards that are going to pop up for us to transition out of, right? The goal here is to work the K guard position and, and work our entries here. So yeah, this was a, a good attempt at me kind of looking for some heel hooks. Luke doing a good job heel slip in here. I keep looking on that calf slicer. It's not really panning out. But again, just to kind of explore and play in the position. Uh, whenever me and Luke do positional sparring like this, the important thing is, is about keeping it about like a 50% intensity. So we want good movement and we want it to, to play well. So you see me and Luke kind of switch sides here. So now I'm playing on top. And something that I'm trying to do anytime I'm on top, I'm always trying to find my balance, staying strong balance here in these positions. Um, I haven't done a ton of study on like how to pass K guard yet or anything. So I'm just kind of doing what I understand in the position of like how I can force his legs into other leg locking positions I'm more familiar with or, uh, you know, shutting down his guard with the, the concepts I know about passing guards in general. So we're not looking for like, I'm not looking for any specific moves here on top. I'm just kind of like giving Luke some opportunities to try some of the moves that we were practicing too and figuring out what the do's and don'ts. Like that was a good example of a don't, that back step there. And I think this is something that's like people should be really aware of. If they're just starting to kind of like learn this position, this back step definitely increases the torque of the heel hook. So if you're like new to heel hooks and you don't understand what's going on, you're playing with this backside 50-50. Sorry, let me get this pen going. So yeah, so if you guys are new to the backside 50-50 position, if you when you back step this way, you're just going to put way more pressure on the heel hook. So you got to be really weary and mindful of the position. And again, because we're playing lightly, we have the space to play here and allow each other to kind of like make mistakes. And so both people kind of understand the position better so we can be better sparring partners. Again, Luke doing a good job entering here. I'm trying to block that top leg. This switches the... Kind of almost, yeah, lots of switching here, lots of pummeling. I think that was just mostly like kind of switching out to 50-50 here. And then, yeah, as soon as that guard opened, Luke kind of turned off the brakes. So a good time for us to reset. And again, just like something so important anytime you're exploring a new position is just to get, kind of get comfortable with it. So the more entries we can give each other, the more time we kind of spend in in the uh, the guard being initiated of whatever the guard position is we're trying to play just helps us get better understanding of it. So, yeah, Luke doing a good job exposing the heel here. Switches to a knee bar. 
nice knee bar transition. And again, like Luke kind of like, has a preference. He likes knee bars. So he can explore the K guard and find opportunities to play the submissions he already knows. Like you saw me earlier with the triangle and stuff. It's like a position I know well. So any opportunity when, when you're in a new position to tie things back to positions you know is always a good idea. So yeah, Luke getting some good heel exposure here. And again, kind of just playing. Seeing just kind of how, how the position connects well. So yeah, I think we did five and five with a full K guard entry. And then now we're going to go again. And we're just going to start in close guard with the underhook. And the goal here is to get that K guard entry. So we're kind of regressing it even a bit more and seeing what we can do to get fit inside to these positions now. So again, I lost, I lost the K guard, so I just kind of disengage. Something that I can kind of continuously find. I remember even from us doing these drills is posting on that opposite shoulder to help the entry. It's been something that's, that's been really helping me work this position really well. So I'm kind of just right away looking to kind of come in like I'm going in for a scissor sweep, dropping that and then dropping my knee across the waistline and trying to go upside down. So that's been like pretty, pretty easy transitions for me. Luke's already in a good stance here. You can kind of see he's ready to stand up, but it's, it's letting me kind of work these transitions here really well. That was a nice little omoplata that kind of manifested. This, I think, happens twice with us, but Luke does a great job keeping his knee inside on the omoplata. So it's really kind of shutting me down from sitting up. I just look to kind of keep control of his, his elbow here. Again, uh, like the goal was not to spend too much time in other positions, so I'm just looking to kind of sweep and come up. Doesn't really pan out. So we reset. And again, just like regressing the position even a bit more, just up, starting a bit further out. So we have to go from that close guard position and find that space to get into the K guard. Something I wasn't doing earlier that I remembered about this point in sparring is hooking the far shoulder as well. Again, a new position for me. So again, a lot, lot for both of us to work on and understanding this position. But uh, as I were kind of remember to hook this far shoulder, it helped me feel a lot more connected to Luke in the position where I can kind of like gauge my range a bit better. Luke doing a good job blocking the inside of my hip. Again, I think it's that post that keeps opening up that old plata there, but looks, looks strong in that position. So he just kind of bumps me over. Start again. Again, some nice transitions here. This time Luke's staying a bit lower. Not giving me as much space, but again, just that cross post. That cross post is something that's been really helping me uh, slip into the position. Again, Luke doing a good job, just kind of looking to pass here. Again, just kind of playing, seeing the strengths and the weaknesses in the position. Something I'm talking about, Luke, right now was managing the distance. Like, so much of what makes this guard work is your ability to stay under the person. Luke cross facing. So just trying to kind of push out here, look for opportunities. I didn't keep good control of that inside knee. So it gave him an easy pass here. Again, still making mistakes, still in the position. I'll tell you right now, if a, a black belt is not a white belt in certain positions, so, you know, he's, he's not letting his game grow, you know? So we, we like, even me and Luke know, when we, we come, we got to work on new things. We got to keep jujitsu interesting, keep it growing. Uh, anytime there's a new system, I don't expect to be a lead at it right away. I understand it's a lot of work. Luke doing a good job here, kind of inverting. It seems like he's struggling to kind of get his far hook into place. Something I like to do anytime someone kind of tries to go upside down on one of my legs is I love this tight waist. Any sort of cross face from here always kind of offers me a lot of control. There's the tight waist. So you can kind of see here, I always reach in deep across the waist. 
And this tends to really shut down a lot of people's attempts to be able to pull this leg out and around. It's just not as available to them because I, I can pin their hips. So I think that's what happens. Oh, there you go. Spoke too soon. So Luke actually did a really good job there. I think, I, let's see what happened. So yeah, starting to look on the tight waist here. Starts with the cross face, I go to the hip, I post wide. Yeah, he just did a good job here. Like, you can see my weight gets is quite heavy to the right here. So anytime that weight kind of comes off that leg, it's going to be easier to pull that leg straight. So if I wanted to keep stay heavy with the tight waist to maintain my positioning, I, I would have had to have keep, kept my body more over Luke. And you can see Luke did a great job kind of rounding out here, exposing my knee. Try to sit through, but I didn't manage to turn my hip through enough, so I still landed in the knee bar. Luke punched himself in the face. Won't expect anything less. So yeah, starting again. Luke looking to thread that leg in to look to go more backside. This time I you see I made that wide post with my right leg. I wasn't gonna allow myself to get exposed that side again for the knee bar. So this essentially this leg here is what's what's making all the difference now. As long as I have that post out, it's gonna be much harder for him to pull this leg wide again. So I wanted to make sure I kept my, my level a bit more elevated. Uh, so so he couldn't expose my knee. But again, we're playing here, trying to get some movement going. Luke doing a good job pushing off my hips. Staying heavy here. Looking to fight hands, and Luke's looking to roll belly down again, looking on the knee bar. I just like to control the wrist and wrestle him down. So yeah, I think that's like a good first look at kind of like what what two experienced grapplers are going to do when they when they look to play in a new position. Again, like we're we're far from being K guard experts, but we just want to find a new position, explore in it, and play. And as we kind of continue to do this, our knowledge of this position is going to continue to grow. And you'll kind of keep seeing our uh, the positions get better and better. So if you like seeing this positional sparring video if this was like beneficial for you guys you want to see more videos like this make sure to uh you know like subscribe leave me comments ask me questions um i hope you guys liked uh like this video and uh i'll see you next time thanks for watching